Good day YouTube. Welcome to my channel. My name is Darren and my ham radio call sign is N4VFR. These are the Messi and Poloni Ultraflex 7. I actually used this cable when I built my loop on the ground and then a week or two weeks later I went to mow the grass and uh, the mower cut the cable somewhere in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to put the male 259 or PL259 how to connect it to a Messi and Poloni cable. So I'm just going to take one of the uh, ends of the coax that got uh, damaged from my lawnmower. I'm just going to cut it off, start fresh. First thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to disassemble this. Just lay it down on the table. So that's the uh, order how I got it disassembled. Now I'll take the the end and put it through the coax. The next thing is this metal washer. And then we have this looks like a, a, a gasket, like a, a, a rubber grommet. We're going to measure approximately 10 millimeters from the end and then we're going to cut off the, the outer sleeve. I'm just going to estimate um, 10 millimeters. So I'm going to use a centimeter scale and I'm going to use uh, an exacto score it and just to remove the sleeve. I'm just going to score it all the way around. See how it's separating there. I have the Ultra Flex 7, like I mentioned. What we need to do now is we're just going to cut uh, some of that black outer sleeve. We're just going to cut about five millimeters on two sides. And this is so that uh, it would spread. See how it's slit? So it would spread open when I put in the next piece, which is going to be this here. The outer braids. Let's uh, just pull those back. Now we take this uh, piece here and we're going to slide it we don't need to remove this copper right here. We're just going to fit this over that. So if this is too small, you can open it up. Just get some uh, screwdriver and then pry that open. See how it opened up a little bit? Right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove that uh, copper foil. Again, I'm going to just score it. And now we're going to remove the inner insulator.
begin by scoring. I got the help of some pliers here to remove that. We're going to measure the center conductor. Um, it should be about 8 millimeters. Next is this insulating disc here. Put that in. and the center pin. On the center pin, notice that there is a hole. It's right here. We'll be using that hole to put some solder down in it. Okay, I have my solder now. Yeah, there's solder in there. It's not moving. All right, next I'm going to cut off these excess braid. I'm going to move this grommet up. To the connector just like that the steel washer and then the back end and I'm going to take the the main outer I don't know what you call it connector and we're going to screw that in I have just adjustable wrenches here I'm just going to use the front end to hold that in place and I will be making adjustments to the back. Okay, it's done. It's done. I'm going to test the connectivity and make sure the center goes has a constant uh, connection to this, the other end and also they're not shorted out. Alright, the shields. The shield in the center conductor. And both center conductors. Alright, well Thank you for watching. That's how I replace my PL259 using the the supplied, or it's not supplied. I had to buy it. It's the uh, Messi and Poloni uh, PL259 solder, and um, I'll leave the link below so you can uh, take a look at that if you happen to uh, damage any of your Ultraflex coax. Mine specifically is the Ultraflex 7. Thank you for watching. My name is Captain Darren. My call sign is N4VFR. I'll say 73s. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next video.